Hello, and welcome to another video from the Computer Techie. Um, so today we are going to be looking at converting Server 2012 um, Hyper-V VMs into um, VMs that can run on ESXi. Um, and we'll have to use a very lengthy method because of a few reasons. So, converting Hyper-V machines into VMware machines isn't exactly easy. Um, VMware provides a tool called the vCenter Converter, um, which you can download off their website for free, and that will allow you to convert Hyper-V machines into um, VMware machines. But the problem is, if you have a Server 2012 or a Server 2012 R2 server, the vConverter doesn't work with it. Um, it doesn't recognize the Hyper-V server at all. But it does recognize um, Server 2008 Hyper-V. So what we have to do is we have to convert all our new VMs we have to convert the hard drive, we then have to move it into a Hyper-V um, Hyper server on server 2008 and we then have to convert from third server 2008 into VMware and this is all because vCenter doesn't support server 2012 basically so if you have server 2008 already or server 2008 R2 and um, the Hyper-V converter should, always, should already support it um, if it doesn't then uh, you'll have to do it this way so um, we're going to convert the Ubuntu box here so the first thing you want to do is convert the um, VHDX hard drive into a VHD so to do that we go to edit disk we then go through the browse and select the hard drive it is that we want Ubuntu desktop, click open, click next, we click the convert button and then we move it from VHDX which isn't supported in server 2008 and server 2008 R2 into um, VHD and then we have to click next. Um, I normally go with the fixed size for this, I've had a few issues with the dynamically expanding one. and. <clears throat> And then we need to call it something. So I'm putting all the converted hard drives into a different drive. And then we just click save. It'll give you a summary and you can click finish. And then it will convert the disk. So while that's conversing, what we then need is a um, server 2008 Hyper-V server. So I have a machine here already set up with Hyper-V on it. And we're going to need to move the VHD onto this server because it's actually another physical server. Um, so the best way I have found to do this is to just share the folder over the network so we go through property, properties, sharing, advanced sharing so just share the folder make sure full controls clicked and then we need to then just add that to our explorer as a networked drive I already have it here although that's not the full location is it? you can actually just share the whole drive which might be easier for you 
I'm just doing it because I can't be asked to write the whole um, path for the folder. Okay, let me just click next. And then we can go through the um, VHDs are kept under public users, public, public document type of the virtual hard disks. And the win once this is finished converting, which it must have been soon. We can then move it over the network. So this one, we just drag that over. And then we can see it transferring there. It'll take about a minute. So the next thing we then want to do is come over to your um, server 2008 server here we need to make sure the IP settings are set correctly for this machine um, purely because you can't have the same user connected to the same IP address um, when using the V converter so what I have done to avoid an error you will, it will get an error saying that you can't have the same user logged in twice on whichever IP you're using for that server. So when network sharing center decides to open, actually it's probably already opened. We're currently saturating the the, uh, the gigabit link to this while we're transferring that file. I haven't got any. Um, aggregated links between these two machines so it may take some time yeah saturating we're almost there now awesome right so the files now there we can then come and Open the networking sharing center. Is it going to open? Or is it just going to. Why is it doing that? Oh, there we go. It's finally decided to respond. Stupid thing. Okay, right. So, what I have done for this to avoid the V converter error is I have attached two IPs to the same interface if you have separate interfaces then you can do it over separate interfaces but if you only have one you can come into your IP settings here and then come into advanced and you can just add another IP by clicking add and you can just type in your new IP like that so now that interface will respond to those three IPs and that will allow us to stay connected over remote desktop and use the file sharing while also using um, VMware converter so now that file has moved over we then need to come into our Hyper-V server and click new virtual machine so we create, we create a new virtual machine we can then call it what our um, VHD name was so Ubuntu desktop normally I just leave the RAM at the moment because and the, the, the memory and the networking I leave um, because we're just going to that's going to change when we move it over to VMware anyway because you'll probably want to configure that differently 
Obviously you can do it now if you like, but uh, I don't bother. And you want to use an existing virtual hard disk. And we select the hard disk that we transferred, which is this one. And you just go finish. It will create the VM using that um, hard disk. And we can test that it works by spinning up the VM. Is the, uh, the whole connect thing going to work? Please? There we go. It's probably going to open many now. Yeah, it has. <laughs> cool. But there we can see the Ubuntu desktop machine has... Wow. Has booting up, booted up. There we go. So that proves that the uh, the VM has converted correctly over from VHDX to VHD, and it, that it's a running machine now. So we can just go ahead and turn that off. And the next thing to do is convert it with the VMware converter. So if we come over to our VMware standalone machine, then you can download this off the VMware website. It's free. Go to convert machine. And then if you stick the IP in, um, I'll just prove the error to you now. If you use the same IP that you're connected to over your shared drive or your remote desktop session you have to it, if anything is logged in over the same IP address, it will produce an error like this. source machine and then what okay that's odd it's never done that before doing it over the same IP address it's interesting so I'm currently logged on on that IP address maybe because I'm already converting something okay but you will you will you will receive an error is what I'm trying to I'm trying to say anyhow. So you can type in the I, the second IP address that you attach that interface. Um, and then we just go through this. We can see our Hyper-V VMs here that we have within Hyper-V. We select the one that we just converted, we go next, and then the destination system is this one here, the VMware infrastructure. You can also choose workstation here as well, and you just type in your username for that, and your password, really. And then we can just click next because that's the name we're going to keep it as. That's going to be fine for the moment. But you can, obviously you can change the data stores if you like or change these settings but I just leave them and now I configure them later. And then we just go finish. And then it will submit the job to the queue for the vCenter converter. And then it will also start converting that machine as well. So there we have successfully converted a Hyper-V 2012 or 2012R2 VHDX hard drive virtual machine thing bob into a VMware VM 
and then if we come into our VMware here we can see it has added the virtual machine here as it started copying it and I think we may even be able to see the network performance usage as well and see CPU real time as they're converting And you can see the network usage there as well as it's moving the VMs over. Should really have um, plugged in some more cables and enabled my uh, aggregated links, but uh, oh well. But there, that is how we do it. And then what I'll do is I'll pause this now, wait the 19 minutes it's going to take to finish it, and then we will. Um, We'll come back just to prove that the VM has converted properly and then it should be the end. Okay, so the, com the conversion has finished and it is now on the, high, the um, VMware machine and now it's time for the moment of truth in uh, spinning this up and checking that it boots properly oh that's a good sign and there we have it the machine booted. Works perfectly fine. So that is it. That is how you convert the Hyper-V machines into VMware machines from server 2012. Also, what well, any Hyper-V server you like. Covers all of it there. Got any questions then go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Um, if you, this helped you out, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I shall see you guys in the next video.